Hi friends and family. Um, I've thought long and hard about making this GoFundMe um, and whether I wanted to do it or if it was even appropriate to do it because I know everybody is struggling right now. Um, but I decided I would at least give it a try, see what I can do. Um, as most of you know, I've been in the process of trying to get weight loss surgery and um, I was just days away and my insurance canceled it because I haven't worked for my company long enough. I have to work there for five years before I can access those benefits and nobody told me beforehand. Um, I think it's a dumb policy, but that's where we're at. And I've talked with a few different friends. Um, I've talked with the office and my primary care. I've talked with a few of my friends that are medical billers and coders. And they've really told me that this is kind of the end of the line. There's nothing I can do insurance wise to get the surgery. Unless I'm so complicated to where I'm going to like die in the next six months if I don't have it. There's nothing they can really do. And I'm not at that point. Um, so I'm looking at cash pay options. But of course, it's, it's expensive. It's real expensive. I work at a university as a graduate assistant and I really love my job, but I lose my job in May because I graduate, which is great. I want to graduate, that's the point. And I will hopefully go on and find more employment, but you know, I don't know if and when that will happen. I work in theater. There's never a guarantee of insurance in theater and getting on Brian's insurance is just too expensive. I mean, it's a mortgage payment every month just to add me to his insurance. Um, so I decided to make a GoFundMe and see if it was even a possibility, you know. Um, I have struggled with my weight my entire adult life and my teenage life. I was really tiny as a child. I have pictures of me at nine years old and I'm like this big. I still have a kilt that I wore at age nine. You can see the pictures sometime. And I'm pretty sure my ankle would fit into it now, but that's about it. Um, I was such a tiny child. I just really developed bad eating habits and it's completely my fault. I started to self-soothe with food. I became addicted to the emotional connection to food. Food just became my thing. I, I've always been that way. And in 2020, some of you know, Brian and I had a scare when they found a tumor growing behind my right eye. Um, it was in the height of COVID when doctor's offices were closing and or just overwhelmed um, and everybody's scared and trying to like, don't go if you don't have an emergency. And so it was terrifying because we didn't know, is it on my brain? Is it on my eye? Is it on a blood vessel? We had no idea. And my doctors were just chunking information at me at that time. And one of the biggest things was talking about, well, if it is this, here's the options. If it is a brain tumor, we could cut it out, we can do radiation, things like that. And one of the consistent issues with these treatments was I either didn't qualify or I was super high risk because of my weight. I was told that if it was a brain tumor, thank God it's not, and I had to have it removed surgically, um, my weight put me at such an increased risk that there was a big chance I, I just wouldn't wake up from the surgery. Um, and that's terrifying. I love my life. I'm happy. I'm happily married. I'm reaching some goals that I've had since I was a kid. I have more goals that I want to reach. I want my PhD. I want to work at a university as a professor. You know, these are goals that I am working so very hard for. And it's terrifying to think that I can lose them simply because I'm choosing to eat terribly. Um, so I, that was a wake up call for me and I decided I wanted to be better. That was the highest weight I've ever been. Um, and so I decided to change. I've been eating healthier. I've cut completely sodas out of my life. I now have an emotional support water bottle, uh, that I carry everywhere and drink tons of water. So yes, I am losing weight from eating better. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not cause I am. And I've had several people come to me and say, well, why don't you just do diets? What about, join Weight Watchers with me or Jenny Craig or Atkins or, you know, Dash Diet's amazing. And they absolutely are. And I've done them in the past and I've lost weight, but I've never maintained because it never has changed 
my eating pattern. Spoke with a surgeon and we decided on the sleeve. I really liked that option because it didn't change all of my plumbing. I still absorb all of my own nutrition and there is a chance of failure with for it. Like you can undo the surgery by continuing to eat poorly, but it resets my system. I need a factory reset. That's exactly what I need. I need a factory reset on my body so that I can go forward and make the right decisions that I've, I've made this commitment that I am making the right decisions and I've done everything right for several months now, but I, I just need my body to be aligned. You know, your computer breaks, you reset it. <laughs> I, I just need a reset. I've been so committed. I've done the procedures, the EGD, I've done the psycho evaluations. Um, I've gone to a nutritionist. I am in close contact with my nutritionist. Um, I cleaned out my house of the bad stuff. I've been on protein shake drinks for four days and water. I was even documenting it on TikTok. So there's more accountability for me of what I'm doing. I just, I need my body to help me lose the weight. Cause right now my body's working against me losing the weight. Um, and so, like I said, I know times are tight for everybody, but every little bit helps. And so if you would consider donating, I would be so appreciative. 